The ground near Naples is shifting again, and this time, the numbers are undeniable. More than 54,000 earthquakes have rattled the Campi Flegre caldera since 2022, most too small to feel, but together, they paint a chilling picture. Each tremor is a pulse from a restless giant under one of Europe's most crowded coastlines. At the heart of it all lies a silent rise. The ground around Pozzuoli has lifted nearly a meter and a half since 2005, with almost 30 centimeters of that just this past year. Cracks are widening across streets. Steam vents hiss near apartment blocks. And scientists warn the pressure beneath Naples is building faster than at any time in living memory. Then came the jolt that changed everything. June 30th of 2025, the strongest quake here in over 40 years, magnitude 4.6. No eruption followed, but instruments recorded a surge of gas and heat pushing upward, suggesting magma may be forcing open new fractures below. The crust here is thin, fractured, and heating, a dangerous combination. To volcanologists, these aren't random tremors, they're warnings. Campi Flegre's crust acts like a cracked pressure cooker lid. Steam leaks through vents until the seal gives way. That's why roads buckle, manholes burst, and the air fills with sulfur. Each small break is a pressure valve, and proof the system is alive. The last time it built pressure like this, in 1538, the earth split open and a new mountain rose from the sea in a single week. That was Monte Nuovo, and scientists now say the same conditions may be forming again. The question isn't if Campi Flegre will erupt, it's how big the warning window will be when it finally does. Beneath Naples, the crust is stretching like heated glass. Seismic sensors detect a steady deepening hum, a vibration pattern that wasn't there just a few years ago. It's not violent, but it's persistent, and scientists say it's coming from something pushing upward. That something is magma, not racing toward the surface yet, but expanding into cracks that weren't open before. Each fracture fills with superheated fluids that vent through the ground as steam. When those vents cluster, entire streets can warp, buildings tilt, and roads split open, like the ones in Podzwoli last summer. Satellite radar shows those same districts lifting by millimeters every month. To most people, that sounds trivial, but geologists know uplift this consistent means only one thing, pressure is building. It's the same kind of deformation pattern seen in Iceland before eruptions, or in Chile before Calbuco exploded in 2015. Here's the paradox. Every time magma intrudes, it also heats groundwater. That boiling water expands and cracks the crust even more, letting in oxygen and creating chemical reactions that release extra gas. It's a feedback loop. Heat causes fractures, fractures cause more gas, gas causes more uplift, and the system grows less stable. The most worrying part? Sensors now detect rising carbon dioxide emissions, nearly 1,600 tons per day, comparable to levels at volcanoes with open conduits. That means the seal holding Campi Flegre's magma chamber is thinning. At some point, the lid gives, and when it does, it won't start with lava. It'll start with steam. That's the scenario scientists fear most. A phreatic blast, a violent explosion of gas and boiling water that rips the surface apart without warning. It's not cinematic fire, it's instant devastation, and it's how new craters like Monte Nuovo were born. The streets of Naples hide one of the most dangerous volcanoes on Earth. But Campi Flegre isn't a single mountain. It's a caldera, a collapsed volcanic field so large that entire towns sit inside it without realizing it. If you drive from Pozzuoli to the sea, you're literally crossing the rim of an ancient explosion. 40,000 years ago, this quiet bay detonated with a force that reshaped Europe. Ash clouds blanketed the continent. Temperatures fell. Some scientists even link that eruption to a sudden collapse in early human populations. That blast carved the crater we see today, a scar so vast it swallowed entire mountains. Since then, Campi Flegre has rebuilt itself in silence. Hot gas vents whisper through the streets, and the ground beneath the city rises and falls like a slow breath. Locals call it Bradycism the swelling and sinking of land caused by magma and superheated fluids pushing from below. Over the past century, that slow motion has cracked roads, tilted buildings, and forced mass evacuations. 
most recently in the 1980s, when more than 40,000 people were forced to flee in just a few days. Now, the same patterns are returning. The ground has already lifted more than a meter since 2005. Earthquake swarms shake the caldera almost daily. Scientists warn that the crust here has grown so thin it might fracture under its own pressure. If it does, the first eruption might not look like a wall of lava. It could start with a deafening steam explosion, the kind that turns solid rock into shrapnel and cities into ash clouds in seconds. Campi Flegre has rewritten Naples before. The only question is whether it's beginning to write the next chapter now. In 2025, the alarms at Campi Flegre started flashing again. At first, the tremors were tiny, just background noise for a restless earth. But then they began clustering, hundreds of quakes packed into a single week. Sensors recorded them not miles deep, but alarmingly shallow, some only a kilometer below the surface. That's where the magma-heated fluids move, the danger zone where a crack can turn into an explosion. Satellite data confirmed what residents could already feel. The ground across Pozzuoli and the Western Bay had risen another five centimeters in just a few months. A sudden acceleration that geologists compare to the months before the 1984 evacuation. From above, the city looks like it's breathing, its streets and buildings slowly lifting as pressure builds beneath. And it's not just movement. Gas sensors are picking up rising emissions of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, gases that usually escape when magma nears the surface. One monitoring station near the Solfatara crater measured a spike to more than 1,600 tons of CO2 per day, levels more typical of an open vent volcano actively erupting. That number alone has scientists divided. Some argue it means magma is already intruding upward. Others believe it's superheated water flashing into steam through the rock. Either scenario ends the same way. Pressure is rising and the crust is running out of room. Meanwhile, roads are cracking again. In June, a section near Via Antiniana buckled open, releasing sulfurous gas that smelled like rotten eggs. Local officials called it a plumbing issue. Geologists called it a warning sign. The site sits directly above one of the caldera's thinnest crust zones, the same area that's bulging fastest today. Even the quiet moments are deceptive. Between swarms, the instruments don't fall silent. They hum with micro tremors too faint for humans to feel. To researchers, that constant vibration sounds like boiling water in a sealed pot. It means the system isn't resting. It's simmering. And now, a growing number of volcanologists believe Campi Flegre has crossed a critical threshold. In 2023, a study led by the ING fee concluded that the crust here may have lost its elastic strength. In simple terms, the rock has become brittle. And once brittle rock starts to crack, it rarely heals. So if the next tremor comes from just the right depth, it may not be a small quake at all. It may be the moment the surface finally breaks. If Campi Flegre erupts again, it won't look like Mount Etna's fireworks. It'll look like the Earth itself unzipping. The first warning signs won't be visible lava. There'll be invisible pressure. Gas meters will spike. Then the streets will start to ripple. Manholes rattle. Asphalt warps. And within seconds, the Bay of Pozzuoli could turn into a cauldron. A phreatic blast, superheated steam exploding through rock, would tear open the ground, launching fragments the size of cars hundreds of meters into the air. Anyone near the epicenter wouldn't even hear it before it hit. Within minutes, a column of ash would punch through the clouds, rising higher than commercial jets. The fallout zone? Half a million people. Naples International Airport. Gone. Major highways buried in gray mud, and the wind decides who suffers next. If it blows east, ash blankets Naples within hours, coating rooftops, contaminating water, and collapsing older buildings under its weight. Then comes the second wave, pyroclastic flows, superheated gas and ash moving faster than a jetliner. These flows can't be outrun. They can only be avoided. And in a metro area with 6 million residents, avoided becomes a logistical nightmare. The eruption itself could last days or weeks, but the crisis wouldn't end there. Electricity grids collapse under ashfall. Air travel halts across southern Europe. Water systems fail as pipelines rupture from shifting ground. It's not just a local emergency, it's a continental event. 
Volcanologists call Campi Flagre a supervolcano, not because of its size, but because of what happens when it finally releases pressure. Even a moderate eruption here could rival Mount Pinatubo in 1991, an event that cooled the planet for two years. And this time, it would happen in one of the densest urban regions in Europe, millions without power, water, or escape routes. Evacuating the red zone could take days, but Campi Flegre might only give hours. The only real question is whether the eruption starts small, or whether the ground tears wide open and history repeats itself. Right now, scientists across Italy are in a race against time. The INGV's monitoring network is scanning Campi Flegre with hundreds of sensors, seismometers, gas analyzers, satellites, even thermal drones that can read surface heat from the air. Every day, new data pours in. Every spike, every tremor, every whiff of sulfur tells them the same thing. Pressure is building and the system isn't cooling off. In the control room near Naples, screens glow with graphs that never flatten. Lines of rising gas output, micro-movements in the crust. It's the heartbeat of a volcano that hasn't stopped pulsing in decades. But technology has limits. Even with AI prediction models and ground deformation maps, scientists can't tell when the critical fracture will form. They only know it's getting closer. And that's the terrifying beauty of geology. You can measure the pressure, but you can't stop the release. For the people living here, life continues like nothing's wrong. Tourists still crowd the cafes. Kids still play soccer above magma chambers that could change the map of Europe. Some call it denial. Others call it courage. Either way, it's the same quiet gamble, that the Earth will hold just a little longer. Because when Campi Flegre finally moves, the world will notice. Flights will be grounded, skies across Europe will darken, and humanity will be reminded that even in an age of satellites and supercomputers, we're still standing on a planet that answers to no one. So what do you think? Is Campi Flegre just breathing? Or are we watching the countdown begin? Drop your thoughts below. I read everyone.